Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2. I can't believe I am finally getting around to Let's Playing this. This is probably one of the most influential games of my life. I played this game more than any other that I can think of off the top of my head when I was a kid. I was a gigantic Sonic fan, which, as most people are aware, is not easy to do because the Sonic games are questionable at best. But that doesn't really matter here because here we have Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, this is actually the Steam release, which means you may be seeing achievements pop up. And it also means that I've had some interesting issues trying to get this to record, so who knows if it's going to work. It'll be fun. At the very least, I can get some nostalgia by starting a new game. Oh, this is going to be great. So, you can actually choose to, between, in this game, to be the heroes or the villains. We will, of course, do both, but start as the heroes, because... Well, actually, because the hero stages are easier than the villain stages, at least if I recall correctly. Sigma Alpha 2, heading due south over the city. We're en route, everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog aboard. Over. That's a 10-4. Cargo secured on board and... What? Nip the Hedgehog copy. is Over. gone. He's taking out everyone aboard and... What's wrong? What in the Come world? Here. Over. Freeze! What do you think you're doing? Get that Hedgehog! Talk about low-budget flights. No food or movies. I'm out of here. I like running better. <laughs> and a cutscene that really emphasizes just how Sonic tries to be the cool version of Mario, we get started here. Oh, it's been so long since I played this game, it feels so good to come back. This is definitely one of the games of my childhood, and oh my god, look at that car wreck. Sonic is a horrible person! That's probably, like, that's, that's so much death. Well then, I guess I didn't really realize that as a kid, but yeah, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 definitely has a lot more plot and cutscenes than what we initially might expect, especially after that short cutscene intro, but it thankfully allows you to get right into the game with very little in the way of loading times, at least on PC. And, of course, an amazing soundtrack. Well, amazing might not be the right word, but it's definitely the word I feel towards it. I can't help but love all the old Sonic Rock. It is my curse, my calling as a Sonic fan. I'm sure other Sonic fans out there will understand exactly what I mean. So, okay, in terms of gameplay, of course, I've done like three different things, or a million different things that I haven't explained at all, but basically, Sonic Adventure kind of plays like a 2D Sonic might, except you have a homing attack, and of course, it's in 3D. I'm very informative. <laughs> Oh, of course, if people, if you've watched my Sonic Generations Let's Play, you might know what's coming. If you haven't, well, don't even worry about it. Oh my god. Now, you have to keep in mind, this was made during the time where 3D cameras were a new art and not very well understood at all. That's a points thing, and these are sheep. Hooray for sheep. Oh, I'm so glad I'm getting to play this. I have, like I said, I love Sonic games and it is not, not easy, not advisable, all those kinds of adjectives, but they are a lot of fun when they're not terrible. Sonic Adventure 2 continues the uh, tradition of giving you just an incredible amount of playable, I'm bad, an incredible amount of playable characters 
but not necessarily for the better. Sonic Adventure started this, where you could actually pick a hero and play through their entire campaign. Sonic Adventure 2 does it a little bit differently, we'll get into that. We will also get on this rail and look cool, damn it. Yeah, so cool. But really, Sonic games have always been about playing as Sonic and friends from Sonic Adventure 2 on the... or Sonic Adventure... Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Genesis, where you could play as Tails with a friend or, more likely if you were me, by myself, pretending that Tails was just as cool as Sonic. I really loved Tails as a kid. Don't know why. In the infamous scene, we have the truck chasing us. And this is actually the first example, or well, third example. There have been three different types of gameplays in this level so far, if you're keeping track. There has been skateboarding, there has been three platforming, and there has been running towards the camera and not being able to tell, of course, where any of the rings might be. And the truck, I don't think it can actually catch you unless you stop. You have to try pretty hard to let it do that. <laughs> But so it goes. But like I was saying, Sonic games have always been about playing a variety of characters, especially Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which mostly just had playstyle differences. My whistle brings all the sheets to the yard. And that is a level. Yes. Let's see how badly my skills have waned since I was a kid. Survey says. Oh. Just made it. I was hoping for something a little bit better than a C. But that's okay. Chin up. I'll be fine. I'll survive. And that grants us, of course, an emblem, which are used to unlock things. I'm not entirely sure actually what they all unlock. I know that if you collect all of them in A rank everything, you can unlock the original Green Hill Zone. Anyways, this is the Chow Garden, the most requested feature that Sega never will bring back to Sonic games. In Chow Garden, you can play with Chow. Look, it's a Chow I was raising on my other foul. Let's give it a bunny. Oh, it has bunny feet. Let's give it a thing. Wow, let's throw it. Ah, memories. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Sonic won't throw you again. I promise. Chow are actually kind of weird. You have to get behind them. Are, how do you pick them up? Pick. There we go. Go in the water. No one loves you. And that's about as much as I want to say about Chow. Or at least off the... Oh. This game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay. Actually, I will say a lot more about Chow in future episodes. I just don't want to get bogged down with that in the very first episode. Uh, but basically, you can raise Chow to uh, uh, compete in competitions or just be your personal pets. Make them look at dragons and stuff like that. I was trying to do this strategy here where you jump on boxes and hit the boss before he lands, but unfortunately I screwed up and he blew up all the boxes, which means we have to deal with this camera angle for a while. But I probably won't be playing too much with Chow, aside from just to show them off occasionally, because I am mostly planning on this being a story playthrough of the game. I'm not intending to do all the challenges or to unlock everything because there's a lot of different and not necessarily good content in Sonic Adventure 2. As I was saying, Sonic games have always been about playing multiple characters, but the Sonic Adventure series really take it up a notch with three or more styles of play per game that are all polished to, um, shall we say, different levels. On top of that, Sonic Adventure 2 also possesses a pretty detailed cart minigame. A detailed cart racing minigame, which you can play with friends. An uh, online component where you can, or at least now an online component, where you can play with friends and race across levels together as well as the Chow Garden, which you can also race your friend's Chows against each other, and, you know, several unlockable levels for Chow. It has a lot of content. I didn't talk... 
about this boss at all, but he was really easy. You just wait for him to land, and then you homing attack, and then you see that his helmet has been rendered, but his body is 2D. Hmm. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! To war in shadow. I'm the world's ultimate life form. There's no time for games. Farewell. Good. Shadow. What is it? Oh, oh, stay away from the wall. Huh? Keep your hands up. Not again. Yes, the lines really do just jerk into each other. contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. What the? What the? Look who's calling who at the... I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald. It's you, Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, knucklehead. Not if I can help it. What was that all about? And look what you did to my emerald! I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. That's not I'll look into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, bad girl. And now we start playing as Knuckles with, for some reason, a heavy rap soundtrack. So unlike Sonic Adventure 1 or other Sonic games, you cannot pick your character and run through with them. You will play the game through as it goes chronologically, which means that sometimes you'll get a streak of Knuckles or other characters' missions right in a row. Uh, Knuckles' gameplay differs fairly significantly from Sonic's as... Instead of running through a level, you might notice that I have a little indicator on in the bottom of my screen that has what looks like room for three shards. Hello! In fact, this is a mechanic that I'm like... Oh my god, that's gonna be a pain. Oh my god. As you can see, as I was talking about earlier, Sonic games and Polish do not go together. At all. Knuckles is absolutely a, um, one of the weaker links in this game just because of how terribly he controls. Now obviously I could be doing this way easier, but in any case that gives us one of our emerald shards. You need three to complete a level. You can detect one at a time, which is an odd downgrade from Sonic Adventure 1 where you could locate all three at a time. The levels are completely open, and the emeralds locations are randomized to a point in every level. And that's kind of what you're working with here. These are also the most hated of all of the Sonic Adventure levels. You might be noticing that there are... Thanks! Alright, you might have noticed that there are uh, screens all over the place, and those are hint screens. Those will tell you where, or well, not where, but give you hints as to where to look at the cost of reducing your score. So, 
this is the basic gameplay loop of Knuckles, is you walk around, you look for emeralds, you then go back through the entire level because you can only find one at a time for some reason. And... yeah, that's basically what you do. Okay, I actually know exactly where this one is, if Knuckles would like to stop falling off this pharaoh's feet. That was definitely worth shutting up for, that particular line. I am proud of my deci decision. Oh, that's not where I thought it would be. Alright then. Then it must be somewhere around... Oh, is it that car? Sometimes, as you can see, yes. Oh, no. Sometimes... Emerald pieces are inside enemies, or it's in this treasure chest. How sneaky. <laughs> it actually is amazing to me that there's so much dialogue in this game that the lines start to overlap each other. It is ridiculous. There is an insane amount of talking in this game, and we are actually, if I'm not mistaken, about to go into yet another cutscene. Or the Chow World. Alright. So, one thing that's actually really interesting about Chow is that, at least if I'm recalling correctly, they have feelings towards every individual character. So, if I was extremely mean to this Chow as Sonic, but I pet it as Knuckles, it will come to love Knuckles but hate Sonic which is surprisingly sophisticated for a game that is actually mostly entirely about, um... Oh my god, that voice. For a game that's supposed to be about running and full speed. And I want to pick you up. There we go. And of course you can rock your chow, you can do many things with a chow, you can also feed your chow. I can't remember how easy it is to kill your chow. But it is definitely something that is possible. Aw, oh, look at it. It's so happy to be eating. Oh, it's done eating. Well, in that case, I'll give you this, and I'll be on my way. And Chow... Oh, right. Chow data does go across all save files, not just your main one. Thanks, Exposition Tales. And in a twist, instead of actually running around as Tails, you run around as Tails in a mech, which is, well, it is. You get a really loud annoying beeper, and you get a Gatling gun, which makes this boss fight not, just not at all. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this is definitely interesting nostalgia right here. This time I'll let you go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Wow, Tails, you did it! But what are you doing here on this island? I'm the one who should be asking that question, don't you know it's dangerous here? I know, but I'm here to save my hero, Sonic. Again? Hurry, I know Eggman's up to no good again. Okay, you stay here and I'll be right back. Yes, stay there. Yes, yes, you did just see a pounty shot up a Anthromare or morphic pink hedgehog 
while Sonic does not wear pants. I am going to leave you with that to think about. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, it's actually a little weird, I guess, for me to pause here, but due to the nature of the game just going and going and going, I don't really have a much better solution. So, in this one, we got to see all three primary playstyles, which are running. Uh, running while looking for shards, and running around in a giant robot committing genocide! Yay! In the next one, we will specifically commit far more of that, and likely see some more Sonic levels as well. Maybe. I can't remember the layout of this level. It's actually been a decade since I played this game. It's part of why I'm so excited to play it for you guys. So I hope you join me in the next one, and I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you then.